Good day. This is Valder Beebe broadcasting live from Dallas, Texas on a global platform. Who do I have in the studio with me today? This is Dr. Siobhan Dolan. And Dr. Jennifer Lind. Well, thank you so much for joining us. I heard you guys had great information for my audience. Would you like to share? Absolutely. We're excited to share information about research that CDC has done recently. And we found that about one in seven women of reproductive age with private health insurance filled a prescription for an antidepressant. So we're really encouraging women to talk to their health care providers about all the medications that they're taking and any plans to become pregnant early if possible. Okay. Let And I think, uh, I'm sorry, I missed the doctor's name. I'm so very sorry. Dolan. Okay, can I speak to the doctor? Could you set the medical platform? Can you explain that for us? For sure. So um, what, ha what I think this study showed us is that 15% of reproductive age women are taking an antidepressant. So this is really a common issue. This is not just an issue that affects a few women. This is a real common uh, concern. And what we want women to do is see their doctor or their health care provider before they become pregnant and let them know, you know, I've been taking this antidepressant and I'm thinking of getting pregnant in six months or a year. And, you know, is this the safest choice? Is there a different agent that might be safer for me? Is there a different medication that might have a better safety profile? Maybe you've been taking two or three medications and now you're in anticipation of pregnancy able to try to pare that down to one medication. Maybe you could add talk therapy as part of your treatment regimen. So in other words, if you bring this information and you're thinking about pregnancy to your healthcare provider, and you know the other thing is it might be a team of providers. You may have a mental health professional, a family doctor, an OBGYN. You may be working with a couple of providers. So let them know that about this common issue that you're thinking about pregnancy and you're on an antidepressant. And then make sure that the situation is customized for you so that you can have good mental health and feel well during pregnancy. And at the same time, try to have the healthiest pregnancy possible. First of all, why would, and this is just a question, why would you be taking an antidepressant? You what, manic depression or something like that? No, just straight depression. I mean, a, a large number of women suffer from depression, and the thing is that the age range of depression and reproductive years overlap. So age 15 to 44, many women suffer from depression, and many women become pregnant. So it's a real common consideration for women in this age range. Wouldn't we, let me ask you this, when I go to my doctor, I have a list of medications that I'm currently taking, so wouldn't my doctor read that and say, oh, Ms. Beebe, you're taking an antidepressant and whatever, because there's a list that we're supposed to give them of what we're taking. Exactly. So you would put your medications down on the list, but let's say you're not pregnant, but in your mind you know you might try to get pregnant in about a year. The point of the discussion today is bring that up to your doctor. Say to your doctor, I'm taking this and I'm thinking about pregnancy. What do you think? What are the risks and benefits of staying on the medication? And another question is, what are the risks of untreated depression? Because I think we have to realize that those are real. So, you know, sometimes there's an instinct, you know, I'm pregnant, stop everything. But we're advising women not to do that. There are health consequences to doing that, and that is not the recommendation. The recommendation is to talk to your provider, have a well-informed discussion, and really customize and personalize the decisions about what medications to take, how to optimize your mental health, and how to have a healthy pregnancy outcome. Great explanation, doctor. Thank you so much. And if I go back to my other guest, can you tell me why the CDC is putting out this PSA about this? Absolutely. So this entire, this is National Birth Defects Prevention Month, and what we're doing is we're working with March of Dimes and other partners and federal agencies and the public to provide better information through our Treating for Two Safer Medication Use in Pregnancy Initiative. And Treating for Two is really focused on providing better research and reliable guidance so that women and healthcare providers can make informed decisions when they're having these discussions. And once again, we just want to remind women to not stop or change their medication routine. Make sure they're discussing all of their medications with all all of their health care providers. This is such great information. Where would you send my audience online so that they can find more information perhaps in the privacy of their own home? There's great information available on a couple of different websites. CDC.gov slash treating for two has a host of information and then marchofdimes.org as well. So again your audience should definitely go research, learn more, 
look at the medications they're taking, think about the whole situation, and then bring all this information to their healthcare provider and have a really well-informed discussion that can help them personalize their strategy. Like I said, have a healthy pregnancy and a healthy baby. I want to thank you both for being my guest today on the Valder BB Show and talking about a, a subject that does need to come to the forefront. Thank you very much. Thank you for having us. Thank you.